Nice one. <laughs> oh, nice one, mate. You're on, mate. Yeah, you're on. All right. Job done. <laughs> Anyway, guys, welcome back to another actually cracked up Thomas Fishing Adventures. I'm out here with Luke. He's um, let me just take the reins of the boat until we get to the to the heads. <laughs> and, uh, we're pretty just going to muck around and go for a fish, right? Eh? We're just going to go and have fun. That's, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Stay off from work and just whatever happens, happens, and enjoy the sea air, man. That's what it's all about. Enough flip flop. Let's get into it. <laughs> There we go. Beautiful Taylor. It's probably about 40, 42. We're going to keep this one because, yeah, we're going to feed later on. Dinner tonight. We'll definitely cook this one up. Last episode when we were here a couple of weeks ago, I kept a couple, but I didn't do a cook up. But the fish tucker man is back. Woo! Yeah, so we're just turning around the other side of the reef and just give it a shot. Man, look at how clear that water is. Oh, it's beautiful. So, just amazed how blue, clean the water is. And I'm just going to put the GoPro down here because it's a nice bomb that you guys can enjoy. Yep. I don't know if that's the reef, I'm just getting... Oh no, I had a follower. Yeah, there's a bit of a, a wolf mark. Yeah. 
the reverse reverse sword cast. <laughs> what <is> that? <laughs> <laughs> there goes my lunch. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I didn't see it at all. I saw the splash towards the end. What do you reckon? Just on the top here, around yeah, the, down the. Just I reckon. Yeah, put two in one. Yeah. Something I haven't done before. I'm going to use my my lunch for bait. It's massive. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is just <laughs> so. A bit ambitious, but it worked last time. Luke reckons. Just go for it. <laughs> that was a big sandal. <laughs> <laughs> made a big splash. <laughs> well, I reckon that's a good drag. No, I'm really not. Alrighty. You know what I'm doing. We go and get some herring. Come back, slow troll on through here. Turn it off a pan, mate. I reckon that's what we'll do. Yep. So I'll fill this well up. Here's the stuff. So you came up to the service for what? I don't know, it was, it was at the back of the boat. Wasn't chasing the lures or nothing? Ah. Well, uh. Do you still the title for boat or? No, I just used to be here. Have you on or? No, I've got just a wide pad nostril rig. Yeah. Yep. Yep. These are the best ones. Yep. Yeah, so what we're doing, we're putting these sabiki, is it? Yeah, sabiki rigs. Sabiki rigs. So, and if you see on the sounder, see there's a heap of, a heap of fish there. Oh, yep. So our intention is to actually get some bait, some bait, live bait. Herring is the best, or Tommy Ruffs. And believe it or not, we're actually struggling. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh. Uh, what was that? Yeah, so that's what happens when you talk to the camera and they concentrate on fishing. Oh, nice one! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, they're the ones that we want. Oh, there's a ton of them, mate. Just use this. On the money, mate. Oh, look, I got the uh, double clutch. I'll definitely get him. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. The way we do it. This one again. Give him the double clutch forward. Oh, oh nice one, mate. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to be using live baits and look the same. We're going to troll them slowly around the reef and that's going to swim perfectly. Right. Oh, yeah, so what Luke's doing is trying to find a few fish on the bottom, because using the sounders and whatnot. We've got a live herring out here on a um Looks like a bottom meat jig head. Trying yeah. to get down there. It's a handsome fish. Okay. So, you can drop it right now. Yeah. Right now. Okay. So there's the fish. 
Yeah, look how thick they are. Awesome. So, all the way to the bottom? Yeah, all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to reposition the boat back over the top, yep. but just put him in the water. So we're going to be using the live tailor. A lot more lively than the herring. Taking it. You know when it's taking it, but it I've wound it up just a little bit. Yeah, that's a bit more weight. He's on. Yeah, yeah. Wind it up. Wind it up. Yeah, you're on, mate. Yeah, you're on. All right. Dom's on. <laughs> it's on the live. I think it's a big fish, man. Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching, Luke's. Bitch! Oh, oh, what no. the hell? No. That's a bust off. Bloody hell. You saw the fish in the sounder. Is it all gone? Oh, it's all gone. What the hell? I didn't give it much curry. We're going to use the heavy rod. Ah. Oh, what? I was going to say, we watched Luke's channel. We're going to try that again. Luke brings his nose a sharp. There's no other excuse to why that fish we lost him. Um, but let's see, here we go again. So, what do we got here? If anything, my whining spot is going to be as good as yours, though. Well, if you, if you got time, I can show you a couple. What do we got here? Oh, oh they definitely not as good as yours. <laughs> so, Luke's got this hot spot for whining. <laughs> Whoops. And all we're getting are this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Flathead. Time for some beers. I think so. We're heading off home for a cook up. Thanks very much, Luke. Great day, mate. How about that? That went 44 centimetres. Absolute dinosaur tail off. I've already cut some of this out because I actually used it for bait out in the boat. I'm just going to fillet this one here. Fantastic. Let's trim the bones. Got some of the dorsal dorsal fin bones up here. That's alright, just trim them off. A few of the ribs down here. Not much wastage at all. There you have it. Beautiful fillet. What, do. what I like to do with my fillets of fish is put them into a really cold mix just so they don't deteriorate anymore so it's really cold until I'm ready to cook it or if I actually want to freeze it it's preferred to keep it nice and cold than put it in the freezer but we'll definitely cook up these tonight Thank you guys for the cook up it's going to be a simple one I'm actually using things here get the coals here because I was cooking up some veggies before and I'm actually going to do something pretty spicy. I've got this like antipasto mix. A lot of herbs and spices in that. And I'm just going to basically put my fish right in it. Just like that. The other fillet, but I mean, I'll keep that for tomorrow for lunch. But I'll just do the one for the sake of it. And it was great fun to be out there again with Luke on his boat. On his boat, it's fantastic. Caught a couple. We're struggling for a bit, but uh, yeah, it's great fun. 
Topping off. Check. Check this out. So she cooking. Oh, and these cheesy bits are melting. Oh, that'd be interesting. I'll just flip it. Okay. Yeah, so this is um, looking all right. Probably, um, yeah, I think it'd be all right. Mmm. Yep. This is ready. Let's get into it. So what I did, I put some bread on here and uh, made it nice and toasty. I'm going to grab a nice piece. Turn the oil first. Suck up some juices. There we go. A few of these here. Dom, appetite. Crack, I reckon it'd be good. Pretty hot though. Mm. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. Great fish tucker. Mm. Fish tucker. Fish tucker. Oh. Fish tucker, man. Oh. Fish tucker. Fish. I've been a bit out of you. Take it easy. See you next fish, time. Don't want to Fish. Love it. Tucker. Fish. Tucker, man. Fish. Tucker. Fish. Tucker. Fish. Tucker, man.